What's the health of the football team right now? Uh, overall, I think we're pretty healthy. You know, we lost a few guys earlier in the season, but for the most part, uh, from the Big 12 game to now, everybody's looking pretty good. Feel like you got some of that momentum still from the TCU game, kind of rolling it over into this week. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, that was a big win, you know, um, and a close one at that. So, you know, just that confidence of us being able to finish that game. You know, we got another tough one for sure. Does it ever cross your mind that this is your last college football game? Yeah, man, it's crossed my mind for the past month now. So, <laughs> but nah, man, it's, it's been a crazy journey. So, you know, to finish it like this is cool. It's a cool way to finish. You feel like you've seen equivalent team speed to what you're seeing from Alabama? Um. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, we played some guys, you know, if we mix and match across the Big 12, we can find guys that are up to the level that we've played so far this year that can match up exactly with the guys that, we, that we're going to play this Saturday. So. Is it almost, from a talent standpoint, it's almost kind of like playing Texas. That, that's a team that yeah. can kind of match it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, bigger guys, a uh, lot of speed, a lot of power, all that stuff like that. So, yeah, Texas, honestly, is a good comparison. It's gonna be how have you guys across the secondary fit your personalities together for a 12-week season? Uh, how? Uh, honestly, I think we all just mesh well together, you know? Everybody has their own different personality. At the same time, nobody's overbearing or anything like that. And we're all trying to learn and get better together as a group, you know? So uh, I think, and also with the fact that all of us that are going to be playing on Saturday all kind of came in and are learning the defense together, had to learn it together, and all that stuff like that, support each other when we need it and stuff. So, yeah. Does Alabama present anything schematically that you haven't seen yet? Um, schematically, no. I think uh, for the most part, you know, it's kind of X's and O's football at the end of the day. When you have a talented quarterback like Bryce Young, yeah. I mean, obviously you want to try and take some of his game away, but yeah. what do you think is the key to slowing down a guy like that? Um, to me, I think the biggest thing is probably going to be up front, you know, just keeping him corralled, not let him extend plays as much as he does, and then, you know, from there, on the back end, we just got to do our job, make sure we're in coverage. And then when you committed to K-State and then to where you are now, how has that journey been? Did you ever oh, figure yourself here? Man, I can't say uh, when I committed that I thought this is where we'd finish up, but I felt like uh, coming here, I knew that there was something special. You know, and Once I got on campus, got around the guys, I knew we had a chance to do something big, and here we are. Did you say you see yourself being on this big of a stage? Uh, uh, you know, I can't say that I saw myself on this big of a stage, but, you know, this is what everybody dreams of. So, you know, I hope to be here and, you know, prayed to be here. So, you know, I feel like God answered my prayers in that way. You played in a national championship game at the FCS level. Does yeah. it kind of feel like that uh, this week? Yeah, it definitely it gives that feel, you know, being away from, you know, home and, you know, being in a different area, you know, with the, but solely around teammates and stuff like that. And then uh, at the same time, though, it feels a little bigger, you know what I mean? So, you know huge opponent, uh, historic opponent at that. So, you know, it definitely has a little bit of a different feel to it as well.